haven't showed you these yet you guys uh they're called big rig beef cartons believe it or not it's not a joke and uh i haven't showed these i think i just said that but i got some markers we're gonna paint them up throw them on there they're gonna look pretty cool i got these from heavyholland.com a lot of van stuff they have going on there uh let's get to it we went ahead and got them all colored up look pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and uh I keep saying go ahead but we're gonna attempt to get these on here so let's go ahead and do that god i keep saying they go again Jeez. i went ahead and already jacked this van up we're gonna get these wheels off here now This is a side that blew the wheel at one time. So this is all beat in. I'm gonna see if I can beat this down first. I got the junkyard special here. Me and my brother went to the junkyard here locally and found this and sitting on the side of the sidewalk. good enough now the fun begins trying to line this up somewhere these got little holes in them I'm gonna drill these two out real fast you guys see there you go I'm gonna drill them out real fast and we'll go ahead and put it on nope wrong direction Got the screw in the wrong way too. Bear with me here. There we go. Something about like that. And we'll push that side in here in a minute. Let's get this one in first. Got this out of a metal roof. I figured they work. All right. All right, I just left Home Depot. We got some more screws. Some actual self-tapping metal screws.
get you guys out of the way here. All right, you guys, I came up with uh, some pretty sketchy looking stuff here. I got an exhaust hanger bracket here, if I can keep it together. I'm gonna be using to keep this mud flap out where it needs to be. I'm gonna short here, short here on time. Got my son's baseball game in about an hour. So I'll probably just get this side done for now. I'll come back out here and do the other side. Drill this out. in here now. <clears throat> there we go. Threader all in. It'll work, trust me. This one might have been this one. Yeah. <clears throat> that shouldn't go nowhere until it does. And the other side, you guys, I have, this was going, went to my Mustang. It had a bend right here that hung off the oil pan and hang a line, or held a line on or something. This side's D-O-N-E. She's done. Let's put the lid back on and get out of here. Get my crap out of the way. Ugh. Think about getting some smaller tires for the back too, because I think they're rubbing a little on the back. Sorry. You guys still see? Yeah. Fun stuff. Hopefully they look good from behind. Noise. 
It's just the wheel hub. And you guys wonder why I call myself Ghetto Garage. It's because we do some things ghetto every once in a while. And I ain't afraid to because that gets things done. I could have, I wanted to cut this off, but you ain't gonna see it back here. And if you do, once the thing, because it's, it's sitting way higher, because it sits like right here, you ain't gonna see back there. I forgot my lights back there on the leaf spring, so now I gotta fish it out of there somehow. We got this mud flap on. This side, like I said, I used a, uh, a bracket off a Mustang that I never used. I bent it and it worked pretty good. We're gonna drop this in on the ground now and see what they look like from underneath. Look pretty cool up underneath there. Pretty cool. Well, you guys, uh, I don't know whose excavator this is. I don't know if it's a city or not, because we're at a county, county limits. My dad said he's seen a, a black truck, and then this excavator popped up out of nowhere. So I don't know if, <laughs> maybe, he's, I don't know, hopefully this thing ain't stolen and somebody dumped it off here, but it's, it was put here today. The only thing I think of is that the city's gonna come out here and destroy the house, which would be amazing because it looks like complete crap. Hopefully they haul it off too, but I don't know. There's no note or nothing. I don't know why it's here. I guess we'll figure it out in a couple days. Well, we got our answer to the excavator. No more house. This is what's left of the house, you guys. Nothing. I came in here and got it cleaned out in two days. There's my dad's van back here. Looks a whole lot better. What's up, you guys? Uh, I'm on my lunch break right now, and we're going off to a junkyard. Just trying to see if I can go here. All right, we're good. We're on our way to a junkyard on my lunch break. Uh, I went there Saturday. It's now Monday. I'm going there to get. They have three Chevy vans. Nothing I'm really excited to see or see something to have. But there was floor mats in one and some square tail lights in the other. Which I'm gonna keep the floor mats. I might keep the tail lights too. I don't know. But it's stuff that's hard to come by than other things because like uh i don't know what year they converted from the square tail lights to like the rounded tail lights but there's billions of the round tail lights but the square tail lights you can't buy them you have to find them there is no aftermarket there is nothing for them you have to buy them used or somebody's already pulled them somebody already has them so i'm gonna take those and the whole assembly for them and i'll show you guys the vans i'll show you some stuff but i'm crunched on time i have about 40 minutes. I'm about five minutes away, so I have about 35 minutes to do this. There should be plenty of time. I walk pretty fast, so I'll show you guys when we get back here and start walking around these vans. Coming up on the first one here. Brown big top. I'm gonna look around real quick, see if it's got anything interesting. Got in here and found the uh, cup holders. I think I might snag those. It's pretty cool in here. It was back in its day. Well, I ain't got much time. I'm gonna stop talking and start pulling. Here's a newer Chevy and check out the interior in this one. Got some more some cash up there. A lot of this stuff is in the van world. Here's the other. It's a 90s because it's got the double headlights. I had a bug guard, it snapped. I wanna try to get this off here. I'll try. These mats are what I came here for, but they're uh, pretty ripped up. Kinda sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and snatch this cookie tray, or cookie tray, cup holder too. Here's the one like mine.
it's like some ice. No, it was already like that when I came in here. The cookie, uh, or the, I keep saying cookie. The uh, cup holder's already gone. It's got some cool stuff in here. Nice interior. I came for this one for the tail lights. I'll show you them real quick. Attempt to get them out of here. Well, I ended up pulling off a little bit more than what I was expecting to. Uh, I'm late to my lunch, coming back. Uh, I'm supposed to be back at 12.30, and it's 12.31. Usually I don't ever take a lunch. I've worked straight through for the past couple months. That's what I've done. Extra money, you know, it helps out. But I got some stuff. I'll show you that when I get home. Some stuff I'll keep, some stuff I'll sell. And I bought it all. Well, I guess I'll tell you that one then. And I'll show you it all, how much I bought it for. But I'll show you guys that probably tonight. It'll be after this, after you, this cuts off here. So you stay tuned for that. This is everything I got you guys for 27 bucks. I'm gonna try to use those back here on my windows. I'm gonna save the tail light. I'm using these and everything else I'm gonna try to sell. So mainly just the two cup holders and the lights. I'm gonna unload it in my garage now. That's gonna be it for this week, you guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, the van stuff, the mud flaps, and the junkyard, and the house too getting tore down. And also, I'm gonna show you this real quick. It's the girl version of my Murray bike, but this thing has an engine on it. I might do a wheel run on this because I'm having trouble getting it to run. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what if I decide to do it or not. But anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, stay tuned. Next week's gonna be a Mustang video paintwork on it so uh, that's gonna be it you guys peace out